Hello guys, this is Cook Gamer Jenna here, and today I'm going to be talking about the risks of rooting your Android device. Now, I know a lot of people, they know that root is actually a good thing, but it can harm your device in many ways. And for those of you who don't know, I have rooted almost all of my Android devices that I have had or seen people have, and that come to me about it, I have rooted. And... It does, it gives you a lot of advantages on your smartphone. And I would, I would admit it does a lot of good things, but it can also do a lot of harmful things. So I will be reading you multiple websites about what it can do and how it can harm your Android. Now, from personal experience, I've had my phone, well, well, yeah, basically this phone, my tablet, and when I rooted it, it basically harmed it. So... Number one, it may it makes your device go slower. And for those of you who think that your device won't go slower because you rooted, eventually your device will get slower because you rooted it. It happens. It, it literally will go slow as possible. I, I'm not lying to you. If if you have if you're a root user and your phone doesn't go slow, you must have a very, very, very excellent phone because from my personal experience. When I root my device, my device was super fast before I rooted it. And then once I rooted it, it started to get slower and slower and slower over time. And the performance started to become garbage. And I couldn't download certain things. I couldn't do certain things. I couldn't even up. I couldn't even update my device. So I'll be reading this basically. If you guys can just look at this part. So it basically just talks about how, you know, you really can't do whatever you want. But if you get root, you can do whatever you want. So... How about we talk about the risk? Okay. Okay, now. Rooting is a process that allows you to obtain root access to the uh, to the Android operating system code. Or, you know, in Apple devices, it's jailbreaking. It gives you privileges to modify the software code on devices and install any other software that you cannot normally install. Which means if you wanted to install something that's a system app, which you normally can't do, you could change it around. Or you can even delete system apps, which is very dangerous to your device and can cause permanent damage. Now... And good for mobile security reasons, they don't want users to make modifications to the phone that can result in accidents beyond repair and easier for them to offer support if they allow the users to only use the same unmodified version of the software. But technically, savvy users have already developed rooting methods which vary depending on device. They are available on the web and more Android users are resorting to them because of the more powerful perks they provide such as full customization for just about every theme and graphic, download any app regardless of the app store that are posted on, extended battery life and added performance, updated to the latest version of Android if your device is outdated and no longer updated by manufacturer. Now, those are some advantages. Now, it can really, really harm your device. Now, even though it might look good, I have phone and my tablet is rooted, so I know what it can do to your device. Now, you can turn your smartphone to a brick. Well, not literally, but if you goof up the rooting process, meaning the cold mod case, your software can get so damaged that your phone will basically be useless as a brick. And that's basically the reason why I bought this new phone that I have because... Both of my devices are useless. Your phone warranty turns void. It's legal to root your phone. However, if you do it, your device gets straight out of warranty. It says your root phone and some after you experience a phone malfunction, hardware, or software related. Because of the Android rooting, the warranty is no longer available and manufacturer will not recover the damages. Gaining root access also entails circum... Oh, shit. Well, circumventing the security restrictions put in place in the Android operating system, which means viruses... Spyware and Trojans can infect the rooted Android software if not to protect it by effective mobile antivirus for Android. Now, the thing about this is root can make your device very harmful to multiple viruses. And to be honest with you, if you root your device, you can really harm it like dead ass. Like you, your phone is open to so many different levels of dangerous. And that's why it's so important to get antivirus apps and even when you get root usually when i get root i always get all these little hacking apps or stuff that can help me do what i need to do and stuff that's android related that can get down to the core of the android the processor and the coding of my apps so i can edit everything i need to do and i make sure that i have all the safety that i need and i would recommend download 360 security or another app that can do what you need to do make sure everything is locked and in place when you get root there are several ways that these types of malware can get in your phone. 
drive by downloads. I mean, if you if literally those 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 links that you click on that talks about those viruses and infected batteries when you go and try to download music or a certain thing normally it really can't do nothing to your phone but if you have root maybe something like that can infect your phone off the most smallest thing malicious link infected as you download so basically if you have something like 36 security download an app and it says there's a virus and it can harm your device now some apps they really don't have viruses but the phone detects it as a virus well, you can look up online or look up on YouTube to see if the app is actually safe. So before you download it, you already know. And, I, and if literally some apps that are for root are really not that dangerous. It just appears as dangerous because your phone is rooted. So you have to be careful about that. You download from not so reputable app stores. They take over your phone and make it act behind your back. Forward your contact list to cyber crooks. Sniff your mail, send text messages, premium numbers, racking up your phone, collect personal data such as passwords, username, credit card details that you use while socializing, banking, and shopping from your smartphone. Now, the thing about this is there are certain apps that require root. If you can get somebody else to download, you can steal all their information. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with root. Root is the key to Android. It can do so much good stuff, but it can also harm your Android in so many different ways. And it can turn your Android into a useless piece of shit. And that's why I don't have it on this new phone. Because I know it it might seem so good at first, but in the long run, Root will not help you. And I really did think Root was the best thing in the world. And now I know it's not really the best thing in the world. So if you have multiple Android devices, I recommend you take the one that's least important to you and root it. Now, if you still want to root your device, make sure you research the process very well as it differs depending on the smartphone type and brand. Now, not all smartphones can take root. I do recommend rooting 4.4 or 5.1. Um, 5.01, I don't really recommend rooting all like that, but it's acceptable. But I recommend rooting KitKat or Lollipop. 5.1 and even marshmallow root root has been invented i'm not i'm not sure if how good marshmallow root is but you I, i'm not sure about that so you couldn't ask me about that but kit kat 5.1 i understand that now if you better ask for expert advice on dedicated forums or better yet ask the tech savvy person to root it for you. All these in order to ensure that you don't turn your device into a brick. Install proper antivirus protection for your Android phone even before rooting the device to fend off malware infections. And I do recommend getting this app Bullguard Mobile Security offers mobile antivirus protection for wide range of mobile operating system including antivirus protection for Android devices. Here's some good news to say. Say you do resort to rooting your device, if for some reason you can't change your mind about it, you can always unroot it in case it's better to ask for your expert. Now the thing about unrooting is, once you root your Android device and, the, and your device has been harmed, even if you unroot it, it still won't make a difference. It doesn't matter if you, it, you have to unroot it before the damage is done. Once the damage is there, you cannot do a single thing about it. Not a damn thing. And the root can actually, like I said, you can slow up your device. It, it literally stop you from being able to download apps from Google Play Store. Yes, it can stop you from doing that because it did it to me. It can stop you from updating your device. Like I rooted this one device and it said that I couldn't update the phone because the phone has been altered, which means that since I rooted it, and plus, it had already been damaged before. Since I had rooted it, it just made it unable to be able to do, you know, auto update and stuff. So basically, that just kind of made it worse. So rooting is very, very dangerous. And especially if you use certain apps that require root. And then sometimes that the um, phone will actually unroot itself. And if you keep rooting it over and over and over again, sometimes that can be dangerous to your device too. And can open up many other points. Because once you root it... Everything is open. And sometimes when you delete system apps, it can really harm your device. Or when you delete system apps, it'll go in the other system. As I actually one time deleted a system app, every single app in, on my device went crazy just because I deleted one simple little thing. So you have to be careful on what you do. So let's check out this 5 Rings is not the root Android. So let's see if it loads up because my 4G is super duper slow. But it's just... Once you root your device, 
Just make sure that you have the proper software and security once you do it. And make sure that you know what you're doing with the root instead of just being very reckless with it. Because if you be very reckless with root, it, it, it's not going to be a good thing. Android is well known for a seemingly never-ending customization options and primitive rooting credentials. Among other things, distribution cannot be modified to enable elevated permissions. Quite rare, and enthusiastic seek to virtually every possible feature available at the disposal. But sh should you pursue that path, does root have what you need? There are a couple good reasons why you should root, and I've explained them in the past. But on the other hand, root is not for everyone as a risk as far outweigh the benefits that you are likely to regret your decision. That's once things get messy. And like I said, once things get messy, it doesn't matter if you unroot. But if you unroot it, that's, that can probably make the problems worse or just make the damage go even further. My exposure to more security risk, you basically already seen it. You know, super U, super SU, and I'm going to tell you guys something about that. That is the main thing that people download when they get root because it gives you a whole bunch of different permissions. Like literally, I swear, it gives you a whole bunch. It's literally like busy box. That's what it is. It's busy. It's basically like busy box. It gives you a whole bunch of fucking permissions to your Android device, and you can do so many things with it with rooted apps, and that it can really help you give you so many different permissions to to apps, phones, Wi-Fi. Like while you're on the Wi-Fi, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. To manage requests for elevated permission that are enabled once the security flaw is exploited. Theoretically, this means that because the distribution is more secure, because there is one less security concern to deal with, and because the users have an app that lets them know when another app is using elevated permissions, however, it's a double-edged source, and that's more dangerous than you think. So this app is basically telling you what Android apps are doing and, and you know how to keep waking up and stuff like that, and you may think that's bad and try to go stop it. And it's like when you try to go do something using root, and you like try to force an app or try to force your Android device to do something, you can harm it like that by forcing it. Literally to do something that it's not made to do or it's not supposed to do on its own. And you're literally forcing it to do it. In reality, Nova's Android users are likely to get a whole get indicated with a bunch of requests and they end up accepting them all as for reason requests is not exactly to understand. So they might think that. When the root is telling them to do something that they should do it. But it's really that the root is telling them that, you know, this is very, very harmful to your device. And you really shouldn't be messing with it, period. That's what it's trying to tell you. You should definitely not fall in the same trap. If you are not familiar with elevated Android permissions, here's what could happen. Misselling root acts as a major security issue. And it practically opens the door to unwanted access, data leaks, and theft. Hardware failure, which is what I was talking about earlier, which I can harm your device and make you unable to update it. It'll make your device go slow and everything on your Android device will fall apart and so on. And you basically, guys, you understand what this is trying to tell you. So basically, uh, here another thing. Believes that rooting Android 4.3 might severely promise a security of the system. Now, here's the thing about 4.3. 4.3 is very hard to root. 4.4 and above is very easy to root, but when you try to root a 4.3, there's a reason why it doesn't work. There's a reason why it's not supposed to work. And if you force it, the root on there, then it's going to literally cause the device to fall apart because that's not what it's made for. Because the device cannot handle that. That version of the device, let's just say, cannot handle that. Now, this thing is saying, except for a few companies, Google with the Nexus lineup springs, the my most entry maker will avoid the warranty on your device if it has been rooted, da 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 You basically, guys, understand what it's saying, and you, you know what it can do to your device. I just wanted to let you guys know this because I just felt like I had to bring it up, because, you know, I've experienced it firsthand, and it's just, it's just a very good thing, but it's a terrible thing. So, it's basically like, if you have a device that you don't care about... And you don't really care what happens to it. I mean, you can root it. But if you really do care about your device, I don't recommend you rooting it because it will hurt it. And here another thing can cause update issues. There are two main issues related to rooting Android and first performing updates. First, after applying the update, the root will most likely be removed. The users access the through the risky process again, and two updates may fail to install due to software modifications that occur while the distribution has been rooted. Like I said, it can very harm your device to a point where you cannot update it. Because the update patches the security exploit, 
that was used for ruin the needs, let's say your low level modifications will most likely be returned to stock as well, which can lead to time consuming process of having to revert basically them to their altered state. And then when you try to do that, it's going to fuck up your device and then it'll be useless. Especially if, if your device is messing up like that and then you reset your device, you're done for. You're done for. I, I've done it. You're done for. Don't even do it. Don't root your device. And if you do root your device and this happens, just don't reset it because that will make everything so much worse. But I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video for today. This is kind of like a story time slash news, basically. What I'm trying to tell you guys so you guys can physically understand the, the disadvantages and the advantages of root. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now you enter user out there. Be careful with what you do. And that's